difference for us. He says that we live in a world that is filled with sin. We live in a world that is some dangerous stuff for our soul. So what I brought here is this is the world. And what this is around here, that's sin. And just to make it a little clearer about what we would do is we would color it. So that we can tell that our world is surrounded by sin. Now some people would look at that and they would say, hey, that's pretty. And they would say, you know what? Sin's not going to hurt me that much. So we thought, maybe we'll try it. So we'll get a little bit in there. You see what happens? He's changed from that. Now he looks a little bit more like the world. He looks a little bit more like the sin that he dabbled in. And you think that affected him all? You think he's still pretty solid? Well, you know what sin does to you? First of all, God tells us you're going to get away from sin. Because what sin can do for you, if instead of being really solid like these things, what sin does, it changes you. Now that one's not as strong as the other one, is it? Now, you know what happens if you dive into sin? How long do you suppose that's going to last in there? Think it'll last forever? No. Mm. Looks like it's melting to me already. Does it look like it's melting to you? Mm. Pretty soon that's going to be gone. Oh, that poor guy. If only we could have rescued him. Now you suppose those two would serve as a warning for the two that are left? How dangerous is the green water to the sugar cubes? It'll destroy it, won't it? And what God tells us is, watch out for sin. Is it okay to dabble in just a little bit of sin? Because, you know, some people think sin makes you look pretty. Some people think, you know, that the latest fashions, the things that you see on TV, even though they're sinful, they don't make you look pretty. Some people think that sin would make you because after all, that's what everyone else is doing. If all my friends are sinning, maybe I should try it. I mean, I'm not going to do a lot of it. I'm just going to try a little bit, and I'll still be a Christian. Is that safe? No. We saw what happened. Now, let's suppose this one says, well, you know what? I think I'll be okay. I'll just try a little bit. I want to look a little bit like everyone else around me. What would you tell them? You would tell them no? Very good. Why not? Why would you tell them no? You're going to die. You think it's going to weaken in his faith? The more sin that you allow in your life, the more, the more your faith is going to be weakened. But let's say, well, no, I just want to look a little bit. So, just a little bit, and then we'll, we'll still be okay. Did that affect all of them? And now he's hungry. And he says, no. You think, oh, that's <coughs> Can God fix that? Yeah. 
Jesus can fix anything. And he loves us so much that that's what he wants us to do. Now, when you leave church today, you're going to be tempted to sin. And it's going to be like, you know what? Everyone else is doing it, and they're okay, so I think I'll try it. Good idea? No. We want to pray that God will keep our eyes fixed on him, turn toward him, so that we can be safe where he put us, instead of following everyone else into sin. What's that? Yeah, they're not going to make it, are they? They look really sad. Yeah, they're melting or disappearing. There's just no strength left in them at all. Except for the one. We have one that's left. Now, you suppose he's thinking about that in the sin? He's been touched by it already. Get a corner on it. Yeah, see, they all need Jesus. We all need Jesus. And what Advent is, is a warning that the sin around you is dangerous. The sin around you will kill you. So we want to make sure that we stay with Jesus. A little bit of sin, not okay. It'll still kill you. No sin is okay. So we want to ask Jesus to take it all away, get it out of our lives, so that we can be his. So should we pray and ask him to help us with that? Dear Jesus, Thank you for taking away my sin. Please protect me. Deliver me from temptation. And heal me. That my heart can be yours. My life can be yours. Because you love me. And you're my Savior.